Greetings, my friend. How are you this wonderful day? I hope you're doing very wonderful. Finding many reasons to celebrate life, to enjoy the experience of just being here, being here now in the presence of presence. <laughs> because that is where I believe all of the goodness in life has an opportunity to embrace us. So thank you, thank you for being here. I wish to greet you on another entry of Thank You Life. This will be our final entry for Thank You Life. And this entry will celebrate on our focus on celebration. A little information about myself in case you're new to this, to this little series. My name is Aaron Suzurik. I'm a 200 hour yoga teacher. I teach at the Niles Gerard Ohio Area Yoga Room. I teach at a rehab facility and a nursing home as well. So thank you once again for being here. So for celebration, thank you for celebration. Thank you, life. Thank you so much that we have an opportunity to just kind of be free to be in our creativity and our expression, to enjoy that, to explore that, to find joy and, and just a lightness, a lightness of spirit. You might celebrate in different ways, shapes, or forms. And the reason why I would like to end on celebration, as we have gone through many different qualities, qualities that will hopefully bring us into a better state of more sustained health and happiness in our life. We had gratitude, of course, always being gracious for everything. This has been an important practice in my life. I try to change my mind to a grateful state that way Everything seems like it can be a reason to be joyful and to be thankful. And if everything is a reason to be joyful and thankful, well then, there can be nothing that would separate us from life as a great experience, an adventure to be whole, to take part in. And I don't know what else, what more I could ever want than just to experience these qualities of happiness and health in my everyday life, moment to moment. So gratitude, very important. That's why I do keep that as a focal point of this series, as in thank you, and thank you, life. And then we have honesty, a way for us to begin to see things clearly, as they are, to try to let go of things that might cloud our vision, that might distract us from the true work that will help bring us to health and happiness. For instance, we might love a particular food very much so, but overindulging in it is not so helpful. It can bring on different things, like health problems in weight as well as cavities and teeth and and different different problems internally and externally for us like we might not know where to keep that food or if it's summer and it's a sugary food maybe it's attracting insects there are many reasons why honesty and taking note of something that's truly happening sort of dissipating the illusion that surrounds something can truly benefit us in our practice here in life. And then we have compassion. So for compassion, to feel compassion moment to moment is not just important for our relationships with others, but also our relationship with ourselves. If we're not feeling feeling kind of connected, feeling that we are 
on this journey with ourselves and with others, well, then we might start treating ourselves and others like machines, just mechanically going through different movements, um, treating words and expressions as if they have no charge to them. They could be negative or positive, but in a mindset without compassion, we wouldn't get a perspective that it does matter. It does matter what words we choose to be kind with our words, whether they be to ourselves, our thoughts as well, or to others and within our actions. And then we have, we have patience. Patience is also important quality and just being able to to experience what honesty can bring to us, that realization of what is truly happening and um, a process we might learn about through being patient and allowing that information to come to us of what we might do next in our lives to move to a better state and compassion if we don't take time to notice, to be patient with others we might not realize how to be compassionate or why we might want to be compassionate or honest in the first place. We might not allow enough time to go by to see the, the good or the ill of a certain action that we might take in our lives or a certain event. So it's important to have patience to allow things a chance to unfold that way we can learn from it and that way we can go ahead and change the way things are the th the way things are thought about within our minds and therefore the actions and the words we choose the places we choose to devote our time to and then persistence goes into being able to come back moment to moment to something we've learned as being good and valuable for us and others as far as words we choose, actions, and thoughts to keep coming back over and over again, to not feel um, afraid necessarily that these results won't give good effect because we have studied and we know they will give good effect. So persistence has a lot to do with faith and courage as well. And then we have practice, which is just a methodology that we have, that we have studied, we have learned from study, and that we have put together through time and effort that will help us move to a better state. That practice could be like me. I practice yoga. And I practice the yoga that works for me, the particular uh, methods and modalities that really suit me in my individual circumstances uh, moment to moment, as well as just my natural disposition and who I am. And then, of course, there are many other practices, whether they be spiritual or religious, academic, maybe social practices that can benefit us in much the same way. And why there is so many different practices is because there is so many different individuals. They're on their own journey. So coming back to celebration, celebration is taking a break from the formal learning process and any stale feelings that might have arose based on just researching and studying. Um, maybe the process might be feeling too stiff, too rigid after a certain point. We might seem like we're, we're grinding ourselves through life to even learn these better practices for ourselves. So celebration, so play, and spontaneity, creativity can be very important for us to just 
inject some new light and some new vigor into the other processes that we had previously talked about, the other qualities that we had previously talked about. It's always a continuous cycle, always using these qualities and, and what we've learned in our experience to help enrich all other sides of our experience and activities that we hope to pursue and different experiences that we hope to gain. Always learning from all sides and all angles, trying to be flexible and open-minded. And I find that celebration is a really beautiful way to allow yourself freedom to embrace the possibilities, the unknown. Because sometimes when we are too committed to what is known, we become rigid, we become stiff, we become inflexible, and we become much like a tree in a storm, a tree that has become as such without proper nourishment, that tree might even become hollow and more liable to break, very dry, um, not so much living as it once were. And then we have the willow that bends in the wind and that comes back to form as the storm has passed, as it, it is very flexible and is very durable by its nature. So trying to be more like the willow than the the rigid tree who has been malnourished as far as you could think the uh, lubrication within it, the water within it, has become dried up. So it is liable to snap and break once a certain amount of force is applied to it. And we can be much the same if we don't allow ourselves to regularly practice something that might bring creativity and spontaneity into our lives on a regular basis. So I would just invite you to celebrate yourself, to love yourself, to appreciate yourself. And in so doing, we gain a love and appreciation and celebration to all other life forms. I believe that, that once I am able to free myself up and to say it is okay to celebrate and enjoy, to have no other goal for a time than just to play and to have fun, it somehow opens me up to the world around me and helps me to embrace with loving arms many different many different other approaches to life and ways of life and peoples that I don't, I don't live around within my geographic location, um, that I don't go to the same, the same types of learning institutions or, or spiritual institutions, religious institutions, celebration and play and joy um, through this freedom really does help me open up to all these different forms of life and celebrate them as well, not just myself. But we start there with ourselves and celebrating and appreciating ourselves. So I wanted to give some suggestions that um, I do embrace in my life. Sometimes I take the time to listen to a fun song that brings a smile to my face. I might watch a show that brings a smile to my face or participate in some kind of activity that also is fun and playful. It might be um, jogging, taking a walk with a friend, spending some time with someone else who does help me smile and laugh and interject humor into my life especially when I notice that I am being um, too serious myself. It can really aid me to walk alongside and to experience life with someone who just seems to naturally find joy and laughter 
in every part of life. So also something that I would like to suggest is to let go of any feelings of inadequacy when it comes to certain forms of celebration. If it feels good to move your body, if it feels good to sing with your voice, but you're worried of doing something wrong or seeming foolish in this activity, there's a lot of qualifications built up around these activities in Western culture that almost make you feel like you have to be a professional dedicated to these practices. Another one is visual art. So I would, I would invite you to allow these inhibitions to go by the wayside, to allow fear no longer to control um, things in your life that you do enjoy taking part of. Um, it might not be in a professional way, and that is fine. You know, just enjoy them for what they are and enjoy them for a time. Don't feel that you have to build up a certain skill to qualify for having fun singing or dancing or making visual art or any other activity that follows um, kind of a similar cultural progression as far as having a certain set of standards and qualifications. So I am not, I am not a professional singer, but I do enjoy singing. And there is a couple of songs that come up again and again for me that I do enjoy singing to myself to sort of turn my happiness on, as it were, and sort of turn me around from any sadness I might be feeling. And this song is a song by Buddy Holly. It is a song called Every Day. And I don't know, it helps encourage me in practice too. Um, I'll just go ahead and sing it to you and we'll see how it goes, okay? Every day gets a little closer, going faster than a roller coaster. Love like yours will surely come my way. Hey, 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 hey. Every day it's a getting faster. Everyone says go ahead and ask her. Love like yours will surely come my way. Hey, 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 hey. Every day seems a little stronger. Come what may, do you ever long for true love from me? Every day it's a getting closer, going faster than a roller coaster. Every day. Love will surely come my way. Hey, 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 hey. Every day seems a little longer. Every way love's a little stronger. Come what may, do you ever long for true love from me? Every day it's a getting closer, going faster than a roller coaster. Love like yours will surely come my way. Hey, 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 hey. Love like yours will surely come my way. Thank you so much, my friends, for joining me here on Thank You Life. Thank you for celebrating with me with a form of celebration that 
I have again and again brought back into my life in different shapes and different forms. And in this form, it is even more special than it ever was. Letting go of all those qualifications of what may be good or may be bad, and just trying to feel the enjoyment, the positive energy that comes out of the activity. Letting go, letting go of worry and anxiety and fear. And just coming back to the heart of love, the heart of joy and peace, health and happiness. May peace be in my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. I thank my body for carrying me through the practice of life. I thank the ground for supporting me, and I thank the vital breath for uniting all living beings, for giving me a chance to share these wonderful, encouraging words of health and happiness with you, my friend, thank you so much for being wonderful you, and I do hope you will join me again sometime. I will be, soon after this, starting a new series. I haven't really come to a name yet. I was thinking, Aaron tries this. <laughs> it does sound like a very unusual name, but it'll be a series based on some of the yoga asanas that are a little bit maybe more exotic um, to people. And I do hope that you may find enjoyment in that as well as I hope you found enjoyment and enrichment in this series. Thank you, life, for celebration. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Namaste.